baby. There a baby in there? Woo! <laughs> so, since it's getting close to that time, we thought we'd prepare a little bit and ask for th some thoughts on what should we name those kids? In the past years, we have come up with a theme. And so every year we've given our, our kids, goat kids, Theme, theme names and let's see last year was 80s that was it that's the one that we put up last year last year was 80s bands 80s rock band we don't need no education my hand why don't people understand my intention we did we've done star trek in the past uh we've done candy in the past so we have Marsha and Cherry from our candy series. We also, we had Karma, um, but Sugar Baby. Where's Sugar Baby? Right there. There she is. Sugar Baby! She's one of our favorites. She's a La Mancha. She's very sweet. Um, and so this year that we have around, we have Go Go, and we have Oingo Boingo, and we have Journey. Those are some that we still have here on the farm. Devo. And oh, and Devo, yes, we've got Devo. So anyway, we thought we would go to the masses and see what kind of ideas you had this year for themes. Um, we haven't done, we haven't done any Star Wars stuff. We did Star Trek, but we haven't done any Star Wars. So there's a lot to pull from there. We need a theme. We like to do that every year. And so, yeah, what are we going to name that kid? <laughs> this is Andy. He, he's not pregnant. <laughs> he's a weather and he's just a big baby. He loves to come over for his scratches. <laughs> Do you want me to sit down? Give me sit down. So we bred about, I think I'd have to count, but I think we bred up to nine does this year. Um, I think all of them took. There's one that I'm questioning whether it took or not. Two of them though, we purposely bred um, to sell pregnant. Um, Cherry is one of them. She's right there. And Marsha's another one. So she's, uh, they're obviously from our, our candy series that year. And, and, uh, they are two years old. They're two years old. So they're first, they will be first time fresheners. And typically they just have one baby. Uh, their first time kidding. They can't have two. Uh, these girls look like they'll both have a singleton. So we decided to breed them in anticipation that somebody may be a first timer or, or um, anyway, they're just good looking girls and we just have to reduce our numbers as our numbers will increase and uh, we, we won't keep uh, near the babies this year that we have in the past. So we're trying to find our our happy goat number here for the farm for uh, milk supply and um, we do uh, have milk customers that uh, come out too so that's nice but um, and we have a couple of yearlings too that uh, we've decided that we won't hang on to we're trying to gear up for the fair we usually just do this the uh, county fair but uh, we haven't tried the state fair, and uh, so that might be something that we'll think about this year. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, so it's kind of all about babies and uh, uh, what we'll have and what our theme is and uh, then of course reducing our numbers and getting them down. That's kind of what we do in the fall here right before the hustle and bustle all happens. So we're ready for your suggestions. See what kind of what kind of things we can come up with this year. Hi girls. Come here. Here's two of my 80s girls. <laughs> They're sweethearts. They're there too, though, that we've decided for this year that uh, we'll, we'll let them go to a good home and uh, we'll be probably selecting a few others to keep on this year. So if you've got some great ideas or you think you have some great ideas, put your theme suggestions in the comments down below. Um, I don't know, I have to go through and do the math, what our anticipation is of how many kids that we'll have, but uh, there could be about 10, we'll see, um, kids on the farm. I have one girl here that, she's a first timer, but we held off to breed her. We wanted her growth to um, really mature, and uh, she's done well. And so I'm looking at her, she's, her grandma gave us triplets. Hi, sugar baby. Hi, sugar baby. She's one of our favorites. Oh, you just had some evergreen tree? Mmm. That's nice. Nice minty breath. <laughs> she is not pregnant. We're letting her grow out another year before, before it's her turn. Hey, if you haven't noticed, we just hit our 3,000 mark on subscribers. Yay! So, thanks so much for watching our channel. We have learned a lot over the last, what, year, year and a half? Two years. Two years that we've been doing this. We're just kind of a slow growing channel and that's okay. We like it that way. We do this for fun. Um, we also like to interact with other new channels and learn lots from them. So anyway, thanks so much if you're a subscriber, a longtime subscriber or a new one and, and just hang in there with us and see what all we come up with because we don't even know sometimes. Okay, so here's the exciting part about the theme. We have decided that whoever comes up with the best theme you get a prize. We are going to be making t-shirts. So, ta-da! Ta so, whoever is the winner of our theme this year, we will send you a Chickawoo French t-shirt. Okay, so here are the rules for the theme contest. You throw out the suggestions and we pick it. <laughs> so out of all of the selections, we'll go through and see which ones we like the best. And we get to name them because they're our goats. <laughs> so what you got in there, Marsha? Is it a boy or is it a girl? We won't know. So anyway, yeah, you make the suggestions and we pick the winner. So we just want to say thank you to all of our 3,000 subscribers and we're looking forward to seeing what the themes might be. So this is Wendy from Chickawoo Ranch and we'll catch you on the next one.